Well, hi, hello, good day, good day. We are at day seven of Can Professor Bill Learn How to Draw in 3D? And it is my contention that yes, 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 100%, I can teach Professor Bill how to draw in these 30 days. Now, I want to uh, thank you for taking this challenge and for making this your hour of pencil Power. Okay, it's going to be about 20 minutes. But I want to thank you for joining us uh, and accepting this challenge to, to see, number one, um, if you, you too can draw in 30 days, which I, I totally believe you can. And number two, as you proceed through the challenge, you're going to find your skill level increasing. You're going to find your confidence with your drawing ability skyrocket. And you're going to find that you just really, really enjoy drawing because it's really fun. It's remarkably fun. And you can always learn a new skill. So here we go. Day seven with Professor Bell. This is based on my You Can Draw in 30 Days book. You, uh, I hope you order this online. There's my very transparent promotional plug. I'm an artist, so I want to... Uh, Thank you for uh, drawing with me. I just wonder if that if that'll keep recording, right? Okay, I um, little technical issue. All right, so uh, thank you for buying my books. Appreciate it. I'm a working artist, and I appreciate your support and your business. This is available at Amazon.com or your favorite bookstore. Um, so here we go. Now we're not going to draw exactly what is in the book. What we're going to do is use this as our as our uh, you know template or model. I want to. Uh, give you uh, a very similar activity, a very similar project, but so when you buy the book, you have all different drawings to do, right? We don't want to draw exactly the same. So we're going to take the idea of advanced level cubes, and that's going to be our challenge today. So there's my warm-up sketch. So at the top of your paper, now what I want you to do is I want you to have your uh, trusty uh, handy sketchbook. Make sure it's spiral bind, okay, so it, can, it, it lies flat. Some people prefer the hard back. Some people prefer this right here, the hardback, but uh, I like it to lie flat. And I know this is day seven. You've been through all this today, but I'll just remind you again. You need a pencil. You need your dusty brush. You need your blending stump. And you need your eraser and your paper. There's your kit right there. Yeah, let's go. At the top of your paper, I'm going to turn my paper portrait position. At the top of your paper, let's write uh, my 30-day drawing challenge okay and then I have awesome artist the extraordinary Emily Albright here with me can you just um, awesome. and uh, okay so then thank you Miss Emily Albright and of course here's a plug for Miss Emily Albright awesome artist we joined forces for creative uh, town we do productions together and she has her own YouTube channel and she's an amazing art yeah woo check that out on YouTube she's an amazing fun one of my summer art camp teachers renaissance enthusiast right renaissance yeah. enthusiast. and uh, her and her husband are workout gurus and they're going to train me to because that, my next thing is the 100 day challenge of losing weight for me because her and her husband are going to help me all right my drawing your drawing challenge write that this is day doesn't have to be perfect just sketch it out day 7 Professor Bill, I want you to send me a text when you see this. Day 7. This is for you, brother. See, now, Professor Bell sent me an email. It was over a year ago we started this challenge, okay? Day 7. And this, uh, we're going to be uh, stacking blocks. We're going to take this lesson, and we're going to be called stacking blocks. And I'll tell you more about the Professor Bell Challenge, but let's focus on the lesson here. So, so we go back to Lesson 7. There's Lesson 10, Cylinders. Uh, lesson, there's Lesson 7 right here, which is Advanced Level Cubes, okay? We're going to be stacking cubes or stacking blocks. Okay, I'm going to put that in here so I save it. Now, on this one, on the first row, let's just let's warm up our pencil. Let's just get our pencil warmed up. Scribble, scribble, sketch, get sketch. Just, just get that kinks out, just have some fun and scribble and sketch and scribble. All right, now you got that. Let's let's practice now drawing a couple four shorts and squares. I know we've done this before and we'll do it again. You can never practice these too much. Put your finger in the middle, put a dot above and a dot below your finger and 
connect us with the four short and square. Let's do it again. Two dots far apart. Put your finger in the middle. Put a dot above your finger, a dot below your finger, and draw a four short and square. This is a, bit, a wonderful, super important shape to practice, 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 practice. Two dots far apart. I've been teaching these for over 40 years, and I still say, I still practice a few of these every day. Still. Every day. Put a dot above your finger. Put a dot below your finger. Keep these squished together. Not open, but squished together. This is called distortion. Remember, uh, distortion. Distortion. Write that down. That's our goal. Distortion. We're, we're distorting. Write that. We're distorting. We're squishing. We're squishing shapes, right? Squish. We're distorting. We're squishing. We're, we're, we're fooling the eye. We're tricking the eye. We're creating an optical illusion. Okay, there's another good word. Illusion. We're creating an illusion that one. So illusion, distortion, squish, these are all terms that would apply to foreshortening. Now remember, there's 12 important words. I call them the Renaissance words. Circle that. There's 12 Renaissance words of drawing. These words have been around for 500 years, for five centuries. I have been teaching with these words for over 40 years. My teacher who taught me uh, used these words for 40 years. His teacher taught her and her teacher taught him. And back uh, generations and generations for 500 years. And if you learn these 12 words, you can, you can draw 3D illusion. You can draw illusion, okay? Write that down. Now, the definition of 3D. Let me, let me take care of this real quick. Uh, 3D equals, let's just define this. People say automatic, oh, it's perspective. Well, yes and no. Okay, perspective is rooted in the Latin word. We can even write this. Let's just write this. Perspective. Perspective. Okay, rooted in the Latin, the Latin root word of spec right here, which means to view, to view or to see. All right. For instance, uh, the glasses used to be called spectacles, right? Which means to, to, to see or to view. Spectator, right? To see an event. Spectacular, to see something, you know, extraordinary. Um, inspector, to see clues or to see components of a problem. Uh, speculate, to see opportunity, right? The perspective is to see, to see, to view. Depth, all right? D-E-P-T-H, depth. That's what perspective means. It also means to line things up, and we'll get more into one point, two point perspective later. So 3D equals uh, the illusion, right? Perspective, the illusion, to see depth, the illusion of depth. Isn't that interesting? Isn't that interesting? There's a science behind this. If you, if you understand the nomenclature, the vocabulary of the of the, the topic and you mix it with practice and you mix it with understanding, you, you build skill, confidence, and enthusiasm. All right? So perspective equals uh, to view or to see the depth of an object. So let's go ahead and continue. So we're going to put two dots straight across each other. Now put your finger in the middle to accomplish this goal. We're going to distort a four short and square together. Okay, a four short and square. Now we're going to I'm going to do another one over here but we're going to time it, all right? I'm filling this page up. We're going to do 3 3 stacks high. Now, in my markkisslerlive.com, if you have a chance to go to markkisslerlive.com. All right? I'm going to turn here, let me turn my paper sideways. Let's write that. www.mark well, just, you know what? Just go to markkistler.com and then, and then click online lessons and click. Then you click Mark Kistler. Go to markkistler.com. All right. Markkistler.com. Click online lessons. Find Mark Kistler Live Mondays and click that. All right. In that, every Monday. Now, this is, I'm going to keep talking when I draw. I know I'm, it's hard for me to multitask, but I'm going to try it. I'm not going to go straight. I'm going to go uphill to the right. This is direction, remember? Direction north. East, because we've been talking about our use of the drawing direction compass. This is a chart you can print at markister.com, direction north west. These are the two most commonly positions that artists use. These are the four most common positions these artists use. But what we're talking about today is these different club levels. Okay, so there's one one block. We did this in lesson six, I know, for that club level. Uh, lesson six was the, the green club level, the green pencil club level. And 
we did this one in lesson six, right? There's 99 club levels I've developed through my Mighty Art Mondays with me, Mark Kistler. And this is one, there's are timed exercises. There's 99 of these levels. The reason I have timed levels, you're wondering, is A, to build drawing confidence, instinct, and enthusiasm. And I'll tell you more about that. This is what we're doing today. We're going to stack this table. It matches the lesson in this book, but it's not exactly the same lesson as number seven. We're going to stack these three tables, and we're going to do this in 60 seconds. So you can get level one of the Yellow Pencil Club. If you would like this chart right here, uh, I will be posting it in. Uh, it'll be somewhere on my website. <laughs> it's not there now. Of course, you can uh, put a dot right here below the middle. You can uh, sign up, register for my Marcus Alive Mondays. I would love to have you as a student. We have uh, hundreds of students all over the world in every continent, every time zone, and we all go live at the same time. So I go live in Texas at 10 o'clock in the morning and at 11.15 in the morning, Central Standard Time. Go uphill to the right. And then it's, you know, 2 in the morning in Dubai, and we have families in Dubai in the United Emirates and then Europe and in Sydney and Brazil. It's really, really, really cool. Go uphill to the left. It doesn't have to be perfect. Mine's wiggling. It doesn't matter. Now, just the idea. Get in the idea. Building confidence. Now watch this. Go up here. Go past the corner. Go behind the corner. Go uphill. And then look not to the corner. Go behind the corner. All right. And we're going to go straight down. And we're just going to do a block. Three blocks. This is what we're learning in this lesson right here. Three blocks. Then we're going to do a timed level over here. Now, don't go straight across. Go uphill to the right. And direction. See, it's line. Now, eventually, these lines would go off into a vanishing point. And I'll tell you about that later. So for right now, let's just focus on keeping these lined up. Technically, these do get smaller as they move away. Does that make sense? These are larger, they're closer, and as things move away, they get smaller and smaller and smaller. Okay, let me uh, see if I can do a visual, real quick visual for you. All right, here's two of my art cards. Okay, here's two of my, let me just put up, uh, okay, here, here's two of my, these are drawings I did. A uh, little Kung Fu Panda, that cute, my students are the ones who created and animate Kung Fu Panda. Now, if you, uh, you have, we have two cards. See, look at, they're the same size. Now watch. Look at that. Look how small that is. See that? Look at, isn't that, and see that? Things that are further away get smaller. It's a visual illusion. You can do it with your own hands. Here, look at, look how small my hand looks down here. I, the, a good example of this word size right here, which is one of these 12, one of these 12 words, underline that, underline, underline, underline. Uh, these 12 words. A good example of uh, this is standing in the grocery store in the canned food aisle and look, stand at the very end and look down and you'll see all the cans, all the cans getting smaller. Uh, in my new book that you guys, you can see it uh, if you watch this YouTube uh, recording, um, it's called You Can Draw in 30 Minutes and I have a whole lesson standing doing a one point at, in a city and you're looking at, you know, seeing down the street, seeing the buildings get smaller and smaller. All right, so you'll go uphill to the left in direction northwest. Again, it's going to technically get smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller to a vanishing point. These both go to points and I'll explain that in another lesson. It's coming up. Here's a sneak peek so you can see I'm, I'm telling you. Look at here it is right here. See? Two point. This is, they all go off to a vanishing point, right? We get into, uh, We'll be getting into one point. This is the day 23. We'll be getting into uh, interiors, creating a one point interior. This is day 22. We'll be, uh, here's, uh, look at this. Here's uh, the drawing the tree with those four directions. Isn't that interesting? And that is uh, day 21. What I wanted to show you was, look at the city. Here's my favorite one. Well, this is cool. This is just a building or could be a, a giant cruise ship coming at you in the ocean. Um, here is, oh, look at the castle using two-point perspective. These are lessons coming up. And then uh, showing you how to use a, build a little rubber band reference, a rubber band reference sheet. I'll explain that to you. Is that clever? You put a rubber band across that to get to define. What I wanted to show you was the city. This is going to be, this is one of my favorites. This will be a long lesson. This will take us more than 30 minutes. But we'll add details. Okay, so those are things that building all from this nice, simple shape. Put a dot in the middle. And we're going to do three of these high. And then I'm going to time you and see if you can draw this by yourself. And where's my handy yellow chart? 
the Yellow Pencil Club. 99 levels. Level 1, 3 high in 60 seconds. Put a check right there. Check. Put a date, and you can work your way through it. So go uphill to the left. And not to the corner. Go behind the corner. Not to the corner. Go behind the corner. And come in, and we're going to draw the third level. This is a great lesson. A lot of the... Uh, a lot of the science, a lot of the definitions of the terms in this lesson. Okay, don't go straight across. Go uphill direction north. What? North what? Northeast. Follow it sometimes. Look, at don't your paper does, is not anchored. It's not taped. It's not glued. You can twist it. Twist it all you want. Go up here. And go uphill here. And we got there. So there we go. All right. Now... Uh, oh, I just I wanted to show you you guys. Any of you viewers out there? Any of you viewers who are old fans of? Uh, remember this? Do you ever remember seeing me as Commander Mark from the Secret City from 1985 and from 1995? My Emmy Award winning series, Mark Kistler. Um, I had a lot of requests for for uh, fan little fan posters, and so I, I I'll be happy to to send you uh, one of these. Send me. Uh, Eight, uh, nine, nine, wait, eight up by eleven. So send me a nine by twelve photo mailer. Uh, make sure there's stamps on it, self-addressed stamp photo mailer. I'd be happy to send you a free uh, fan poster, just and I'll autograph it. Tell me who to autograph it to. One per family, okay? Uh, again, if you guys want to get a free art card, send me a self-addressed stamped envelope. Make sure there's uh, two stamps on it because these are heavy. And put your address, and I'll send you one free card, one per family. The way you 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 send me a Get, you order a card is push the contact button. Push the contact button. I'm going to write contact. Uh, make a little button here. We'll make a 3D button popping out. Push that contact button at your on top, right up there on the top of my website at markkisser.com, and it gives you all the rules. Now, right here, I'm going to draw the time. We're going to time ourselves. We're going to see if we can draw this in one minute. All right, but before I do that, I'm going to have the light coming from over here from this direction. I'll go ahead and put the light right here. Here's our sun. The sun's coming coming down here. See this? The sun's streaming down this way. So we're going to shade opposite. We're going to shade over here opposite. And I'm just going to go make... Now, when I shade, I do all in the same angle. Now, there is scribble shading. There is, uh, uh, you know, pixelated dot shading, stippling. You can cross hatch it. This is just hatching. I'm single hatching. This is crosshatch. This is going the other way. Does that make sense? That's called crosshatching. Uh, comic artist, comic book artist, my my favorite tribe, comic book artist. They do crosshatching a lot, right there. Okay, so are you guys ready? Let's time it. Let's here we go. Let's time it. I'm gonna get my get my phone up here, and I hope I don't get any text messages in the middle of this, so that it'll be recorded forever on YouTube. Uh, let me put the timer. Where's the timer? Hello. Where's my timer? Where's the clock? Help me here. Clock, clock, clock. Right there. Hello. Where's this clock? Okay, so we're doing timer. No, we're doing stopwatch? Stopwatch. All right. All right, here we go. Put it right here. You guys ready? Let's see if you can draw this. Now, you just watch the first time and then rewind the video. Draw it again. And then let's see. Until Keep practicing until you can do this in 60 seconds. Here we go. Boom. I want to see. Now put two dots far apart. Again, the reason we're learning how to draw this in 60 seconds. Why am I putting a time limit on art? Why? 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 Because I want to build your confidence. I want to build your skill. And I want to build your drawing instinct. I want instinctually, middle line's longer, put a dot below the middle, go uphill, go uphill, not to the corner, go behind. I want you to instinctually draw. So let's say you wanted to draw a giraffe. I want you instinctually to figure out instantly that to draw the feet, you have to draw the near foot lower. To draw the, the, the face, you have to draw one eye overlapping. Okay, go up, not to the corner, go behind the corner. Middle line's longer. Connect it. Oh, 48 seconds. Ah! Sun's over here. And shade it. Shade it. Oh, no! Ah! Ah! See, it takes practice. Keep practicing. It's all right. If you didn't get it, look, you got to put a shadow, too. I really want a shadow. And I want it to be 
kind of kind of neat. You don't have to be perfect, but if it's a total scribbled thrashing mess, do it again, okay? No scribbled thrashing messes count, but I do like the fact that you're jail. Okay, just stop! Boom. All right, so I was 21 seconds over. Okay, the, be- the good thing is you're not going to be chatting as much as me because I'm a yammering, the yammerer, and... Uh, you have silence and you can practice over again. Then you, when you get it, when you get it in 60 seconds, you go, yeah, give yourself a check mark, give yourself an A plus, give yourself a star, and move on to the next one. Okay. All right. Well, um, there is your lesson. There's your day seven. Isn't that fun? I want you to keep practicing this. Now, get the book, and I want you to continue in the book. In the book, we we talk about adding extras to it. We do an advanced level. See this. We add, uh, we add windows, doors, and ramps. You see that? And then I show you some of my options. And then I show you some student uh, examples. All right? So thanks for drawing with me. I hope you enjoy day seven of our uh, my Mark Kistler YouTube channel. Uh, can Professor Bill draw in 30 days? And I say, yes, he can. Thank you, everybody.